This is part three of how to um, have tables related to each other and joined um, display in Unity. Um, in the past videos, I showed where to get a DB browser for SQL Lite and also how to set up a couple of different tables. So we have in this example, we have two tables, um, genres and movies. And the movies table has a relationship to the genres and um, they can um, be pulled together by using SQL. So uh, if you need to take a peek at the last video, I'll put a link in the description. So now it's time to move into the Unity incorporation part. Um, so I'm just going to go through the steps of that. I also have another video where I went through this a little bit more in detail, but I will just kind of summarize the, the things we need to do to get this to work. Um, I can put a link in my description also about uh, where to get a more detailed explanation of this. So first of all, since this is going to be con connecting to SQLite, we do need our plugins, our DLLs to be connected. So I'm going to go ahead and make a plugins folder. Um, need to learn how to type plugins. And in there, I need to get three files. So the first two files come from the SQLite download page. So it's sqlite.org download. And I chose the pre-compiled binaries, um, the 64-bit version. So I grabbed that zip file, unzipped it, and then um, that gave me these two files. So I want these in my plugins folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag those in. All right. And then I need one more, and it's a little um, weird to find, um, so bear with me. I am going to uh, have to dig into my um, uh, Unity folder. So here's the path. We've got C, we've got Program Files, we find Unity, and this is the version I'm using, so your path may be a little bit different, but we still need the, the DLL that we end up with. Um, hub, editor. Now I'm gonna pick the version I'm working with. So I'm in the 2019 4.2 F1. So that's the version um, I'm using of Unity in this demo. And then I go back into editor, data, mono bleeding edge, lib, mono, unity, JIT, which I believe stands for just in time. And what I want is the mono data SQLite DLL. So let's find that mono data SQLite DLL. I'm going to take that, drag that in also, and close that up. So I should have three files in my plugins folder. And I'm going to go back to Assets, and then I can go ahead and create a script. So everything we're going to be doing here is just going to be a script posting to the console for this example. But you can certainly use whatever data you get and use it in other ways. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new c -sharp script. I'll call it um, db. I'll call it db demo. And I'm going to go ahead and make an empty game object up here um, and call it um, script. And I'm going to drag that up there just to connect it so I don't forget. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into um, DB demo. All right, so I need a couple of directives at the top for this to work. Um, I need to add using mono.data.sqlite and I'm also going to be using system.data. 
So this example actually doesn't have a ton of code. Um, the last database example I had um, did more with um, both uh, reading and writing. This is simply reading from the database. Now, to be able to pull from a database, before I forget, I need a database to pull from, right? So now that I have a, a Unity project, let me save this. Here it is, the two table SQLite demo. And what I wanna do is put my database file right in here, right in this spot. So my DB browser is the program I used to create my movies DB. And I wanna make sure I close this um, uh, so I can move it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the database. All right, so now all I do is I take this movies DB, this database file, and I drag it to my Unity project folder. Okay, so there it is. And I just need to remember that it's called movies DB. Let's go back into Unity and Visual Studio. And what I'm gonna do is instead of putting this all into start, I'm just gonna make a, a custom method and then I'll call the method from start. So um, I'm gonna call it display movies because that's what it's gonna be doing. It's gonna be showing a movie list. Now it's giving me an error because I actually don't have that method yet, so let's create it. All right, and this isn't a terribly long um, method, which is nice. Um, so I first need to define what my database name is and the location. And if I recall, short-term memory here, um, not this file, movies db. So I need to type in my movie name. I think it's db. All right, so there's my database. Now what I'm going to be doing is open the connection to the database. So I'm going to be creating a new connection, and then I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to um, run my SQL to select my records. So I need another using... And this is where I'm going to write my SQL statement. So the easiest thing to do to make sure that this is actually going to work is use it in the database program itself. So let's jump over there and come back and paste it in here. So I moved my database already but I can open it from another location. So I'm gonna to go to my DB browser. And what I do is I say open database and I choose my location. So this one was two table SQLite demo. There's my movies DB. Okay. And I didn't save my SQL statement, so I need to write it again. That's not a terrible thing. We can review that. So what I'm going to do is do select all, and um, that's fine because we'll decide what's going to be going in the console from movies inner join 
genres on, and this is where we say the two tables where we want them to connect. If you recall, we have in genres, their primary key is ID, and in movies, we want the genre ID to connect. So what we want to do is go movies dot genre ID equals genre dot oops genres dot ID. Okay. Now let's preview it and make sure that it's showing what we would like it to show. It should show everything. So it does come up with a name and it does come up with genre name. Now these other ones it's returning, we're just not going to display them. Um, I could limit it if I wanted to by simply changing the asterisk to what columns I would like to show only. But this should do it. So what I want to do is just copy this, go over into Visual Studio, and I can paste this in. So it's okay for it to be one long um, uh, SQL statement, so I could just um, back it up, and in fact, let's just uh, make sure that works. So I could go select all from movies, inner join genres on movies. This would probably be the easiest way to handle it. Once it's once you um, get it written, let's run it one more time. Still works. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Go over to Visual Studio and let's paste in that version of it. Okay. So it's long. Otherwise, if you want it across multiple lines, you could do that and just um, concatenate. So another way you could do that, let me do one here and I'll comment this out. Actually, I need a semicolon in there as well. Okay, so the end of the statement needs to have a semicolon and then the end of the um, C sharp also does. So let's say I wanted this to be across the four lines like the other one just because I like it better. That would look like this. So we'd go select all, we do a quote plus, and then you just go to the next line and have this from movies, quote plus, inner join, genres on, or inner join genres plus, oops. on movies. So you could do it like that if you'd prefer to spread it across, but the single line in this case works just fine. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. Then I'm going to do yet another using. But this time I'm using an I data reader, da I data reader. Execute reader. And then inside here, I'm going to have a while statement. And what that's going to do is while it has information to read, so it's going to get the information based on this SQL statement, and while it has lines to read, it's going to execute this line. And so that's where I can just do a simple debug log. And let's do movie. I'm just going to format it a little bit. Um, I think in my database, let's take a peek. In movies, name is going to have the name of the movie, and genre name is going to have the name of the um, genre. Oh, and I forgot a plus sign.
Okay. So if whatever column I'd like to get the information out of, I simply write reader, square bracket, quote, and the name of that column. So this will say movie, it'll have the movie name, and maybe what I want to do is put some sort of a separator in there. Let's just put a couple of um, tildes just to space it out a little bit, and then it'll have the genre. Then after the while, let's close the reader. And then there's a bunch of uh, curly braces, and that's the beautiful thing about indenting, so we can make sure we have the right lines. So we've got um, this, we want to close the connection, so it's gonna be after um, this one here. And then this goes with that using, and those go with the other things. So we should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And before I do that, I wanna just say that I did not have this memorized. I was looking at a sheet of things I've done before and I'm filling it in. So this is really something where you just change the parts you need to. So in this case, all of this stuff is almost the same as every time I'm doing it. So I change the name of my database. All this connection stuff is the same. I change my SQL statement based on what I'd like to display and what I'm selecting from. And then I change what I want to display. So all the other stuff is standard. So let's go over into Unity and check it out. So I should be able to just hit play and look at the console and there are my movies and my genres. Now there is no order so I have my movies, Finding Nemo, Ready Player One and the, the types are mixed up. So I can change what is displayed based on changing the SQL statement. So let's say we'd like it to actually only show the comedy ones instead of showing all of the movies. I can jump back to Visual Studio and I can change my SQL statement. This one's pretty short so I can just go ahead and type it where um, it would be where genre name equals um, comedy okay so I should be able to save that go to unity hit play and now it only returns comedy so really the power in this is going to be in this SQL statement and that will change what's returned but the rest of this is really a standard um, way of reading data and um, and fortunately isn't a really long bit of code.